Hey there guys and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country Returns. Yeah, this is all you're gonna get for today because I've had a long day at work and I don't really feel like narrating anything now. I just kind of wanted to play like Infamous 2. But I figure I'll just do a Donkey Kong episode today. Those like hardly take any time to get going. Because let's face it. These are easy to narrate because you don't have to worry about like any voice changing which I have to worry about with all the other games I'm doing right now. So that's why I tend to like upload more of this than of any other game because it's quick and easy to do. That's like also why I did so much Super Mario Sunshine when that was still going on because it was just so easy to do. So yeah. Maybe the next game after this one's gonna be another silent one, as I like to call them. There you go, stupid robot chickens. Screw you. Uh, yeah, I've been thinking about making the next LP Pokemon Ruby. Don't know if you guys would like that or not. Who knows? I mean, I haven't fully recorded that game yet, but I'm like somewhat getting there. I think I have like 35 parts recorded already, so that should uh, keep you guys busy for quite a while. Anyways, the second switch is right here. You've seen how to get there, so you can do it yourselves. And this charges up another outlet. Which means we only have one more to go. But to get to that one, we have to get to the next level. Which requires us to beat this one. Yeah, we all know how that went. I mean, you've seen me fail at this, like in the previous part. So let's just see how well we're gonna do today. Screw the balloon. I'm moving on. I'm on a timer here. Alright, this dreaded part again. Bounce. Now you can't even use like your... Oh, you can use your jetpack when bouncing. Why did I not know? Yes. Alright, alright. No! Damn it. Bloody jetpack. Yes. I'm very tempted to be using the super guide, but I won't. Because you guys hate me for it and I did not do the jump all the way there. Should press the A button with a little more vigor. Alright, here we go again. <sighs> and when this is done, like rendering and processing and all that crap, I'll be playing Infamous 2 again and enjoying it. I mean, it's even better than the first one, and I didn't even think that was going to be possible, but they somehow managed to outdo themselves. Oh crap. No, 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 no! Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Infamous 2 yesterday, I got like... Crap, okay, that was a fail. I recorded like 15 episodes of Infamous 2 yesterday. So, hell, if progress on that, on like recording that keeps up as planned, hell, I could be doing that one sooner than you think. If you guys would like that, of course, because, you know, this channel is all about pleasing you. It's not at all about what I think. It's about what you people want. God damn it. I'm really getting sick and tired of this level. But yeah. Another thing I kinda like wanna rant about. Cause it's just been pissing me off so much as of late. People posting first comments. Like, you know, the uh, first and then something completely irrelevant whatever like first great video or something that's like like their way of telling yeah I couldn't be bothered to watch it I just clicked on it type first in the comment box posted like post comment and got the hell out of there that's just like a big F you to the guy putting a lot of effort in the videos I think it's just disrespectful like if you don't have anything like, if you don't have the courtesy to, like, watch the video and post a comment about it with at least some level of intelligence in it, then you shouldn't be watching the video at all, in my opinion. 
Like, I don't really watch a lot of people's video. What the hell did I do there? But yeah, I don't really watch a lot of people's videos, but usually when I do, I do post a comment on them. Like, when I'm not watching them on my cell phone, because I can't post comments on that one. I still don't know how the hell that works. To do something with some Google account or something, but I don't want to get into all that bullshit. Come on, careful now. No, yes. Yes. Hell yeah, I actually got there. Oh wait, didn't I get past this like once in the previous episode or not? Well, I'm guessing not because otherwise I would have gone to that checkpoint. But at least we're past there now so we can all celebrate and enjoy and be happy. Alright, another... Oh wait, I did do this part, I think. Yeah, I did. I just had to quit the level again because I realized I was already like past the part where the switch is and I really didn't feel like doing the entire level again so I just like eh we'll quit do the level over again and just get the switch this time around and now we'll completely finish the level I hope hey <sighs> come on purple things just hurry up we have other stuff to do like playing infamous 2 god that game is great I love it might, well, not sure if it's going to top Uncharted 2 as my new favorite game, but it's up there. It's definitely, like, in my top five. Let's put it at that. Although I really have to think, like, what the hell would my top five... Oh, come on. That was just a dumb move. But, yeah, if I have to make a top five favorite video games of like this moment they'd probably be Uncharted 2 Infamous 2 God of War 3 uh, what other games that I really really like uh, Metroid Prime that was a really great one uh, let's see I like Prototype I like Lost Planet Red Dead Redemption is pretty damn good yeah that's probably a good fifth one Red Dead Redemption which is also another game you will be seeing on my channel sometimes. Once I can get around to recording all of it. I think I have like 20 parts of that done. Yeah, I have a crap load of games like partially recorded. But then like a new game comes out and, or something. And I like record that one for a bit. And then another new game comes out. Or I pick up on a used game or something. I just have like... 12 games or something that I have started recording on but not completed yet. So, I will probably like go on a short hiatus in a few weeks just to play and record a lot of games uh, so I can kind of get my backlog filled up again. Because the stuff that's left on my hard drive aren't exactly the most interesting games to watch. To be quite honest. I mean, I have... Like, some good stuff. Like, Prototype and... Uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. But that's pretty much about it. The other things are, like, stuff like King Kong. Or Star Wars Episode 3 on Game Boy Advance. Or Bionic Commando, which is a pretty dubious game. So I need to get some new good stuff on my hard drive so I'll just need to take a little hiatus to get some recording done I think I'll just hit up one of my friends like uh, borrow Zelda Twilight Princess and Wind Waker and stuff and record those and you know what let's go and buy Squawks the parrot because he finds secrets so maybe he can help me like find where the switch is if I mess up somehow. So, hopefully Squawks will be able to help me out on this one. Pretty sure he won't. But it's worth a try anyway. Alright, Squawks, you're with me. Play the level. Music ma- Oh god, not this one. Oh lord, I remember hating this one so badly. 
Because music madness. Well, you might think there might be like some musical instruments or something. Okay, what's this? A switch which opens a door to a puzzle piece. Okay. Now, find another switch and then we'll be done. So let's get a move on. And this level is like rhythm based. You have these hammers pounding this thing in rhythm. And it is quite annoying. And of course, needless to say, if you're hit by them, you lose a heart. And that one moved, so... Yeah. I like died 20 seconds into the bloody level. Splendid. And of course, there's no safe zones in between those things. So this is truly one of the most challenging levels yet. I mean, these ones don't move, so you can kind of like stand on the edge and be safe, but don't get too close to the hammers. Because that's only going to get you killed. See, that one was moving like back and forth. That makes it a lot more difficult in trying to find a safe zone. So yeah, I can't even like make it past the fourth. Also, sometimes they may bounce you off like that. So I can't even make it past the fourth bloody platform. Guessing this is going to be another one of them super guide levels. Nah. I've learned my lesson. Oh crap. No, no, no. Go, 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 go. Hell yeah, Tiki. At least he didn't kill me. Oh yeah, a heart. Just what I needed. Okay, what's this? We pound a DK and a barrel appears and... Oh, that's just mean-spirited. Can I make it? Can I make it? Yes, and there's a checkpoint. Hallelujah! Uh, that was awkward. You shouldn't do the high-pitched voice again. I'm really not that good at it anymore. I used to have, like, this great high-pitched voice like a few years ago, but I don't seem to be able to do it that well anymore these days. The downsides of growing older. Although there are upsides as crap as well. I can drive cars now, and that's totally awesome. Even though I have to drive a bloody stick shift, and that freaking sucks. God, I wish I had an automatic one. Stick shift blows. Makes things much more complicated than they need to be. I mean, my dad drives an automatic car. I've driven that a couple of times, and it's like... So much more convenient than my bloody stick shift. It's like... Okay, so I get why they like had stick shifts back in the day. But... Oh, come on. But I really don't see why stick shifts should be around for much longer. Like, I'll wager that in 50 years or so, we will have no more stick shift cars. And we'll all be driving like automatic cars. Powered by electricity or hydrogen or baking oil or whatever the hell they're experimenting with these days. Like I heard they uh, were like making a plane that flies on baking oil. You know the stuff they use at McDonald's to make your french fries in. So yeah. They're actually going to be using that kind of stuff as fuel now. That's going to be interesting. Also that would probably improve like onboard meals for planes like uh yeah i don't want this crappy bread and beef thing what you're offering can i have like some french fries sure we'll just throw them in the engine they'll be nice and boiled in like a few minutes and then you have nice and crispy french fries just like they have at mcdonald's i mean honestly they can use the engine for both flying and cooking now wouldn't that be like the best damn thing in the world I would totally fly more often if they had, like that. If in-flight meals weren't so incredibly crappy. Can I make it? Can I make it? No! And there was a checkpoint there. I hate this level now. It's complicated, alright. Ah, freaking flamethrower robot. Crap. Okay. I'm really not much of a rhythm person. Like, I've sucked at music classes back in high school. Did not like them one bit. I've never learned how to play a musical instrument. I'm not really that rhythm rhythmical. Is that even a word? Like, I've always sucked at Guitar Hero when I play that at a friend's house. 
I'm not one for music. <laughs> Crap, probably should not do that. I'm only gonna get owned again. You know what? We will just do this level in the next part of Donkey Kong Country Returns. So thanks for watching and bye bye.